Ooh, this lighting is unkind to me. Uh, this is weekend vlog number 77, maybe. I don't even know, I need to stop with that. I know I say that like every single time. But right now I'm about to walk into the salon, not for me, but for my friend. She's actually like cutting her hair, finally. She's very res resistant to cutting her hair and I've like been encouraging her for so long and she's finally doing it. And so she's like, cut my hair. So I'm about to walk in and provide much moral support. Hopefully, I'm gonna try my best. Also, side important fact, I just listened to uh, Rihanna's new album and she covered a Tame Impala song. What? That's amazing. Okay, so I'm chilling next to the heaters. Actually, it's really cold in here, so it feels good to be next to these heaters. But uh, Georgiana just got her color done, and so she's feeling herself in this urban. One thing in the salon, I've actually never been here before. It's like the coolest, I don't know, it's not a light fixture. What is that? They're like deflated balloons. Not deflated, but like the helium doesn't work anymore. I don't know, but they're not actually. Anyway, skin color done. And I think I might have to leave before the cut. I don't know. Sad. We'll see. Nervous. Don't be nervous. Are you nervous? Are you regretting it? I'm fine. I'm fine. Ooh, it's happening. Is it going to be kind of like swinging forward or is it all going to be one link, one link? No, it's not going to be one link. It's going to be a little long in the front. So we were doing a lot of research at the office, looking at lots of pictures and trying to understand how we can describe what we wanted. Yes, it was a, it's a group haircut at this point. Meanwhile, cute shoes all over the place. Oh, and we can really see the color coming through. And this is a huge deal, because she's been like, I'm not coloring my hair, I'm not cutting my hair since the day I met her. And so, I don't know, it's like a slight change, but it's so pretty, and it's gonna grow out really nice. So basically, this is like the hair. I think he's gonna put some waves in it. Oh, I'm jealous. It's so pretty. <gasps> Do you have such good hair? I'm very tempted to cut all my hair off right now. <laughs> Probably not gonna happen though. Okay, I just had to scoot out of there really quick right before the finished look, unfortunately, but it did, it looked awesome and I think she was really happy, so. That was really cool. I'm so proud of her for doing that, but right now I'm running not too far away. Um, my little sister is trying on wedding dresses today and so I get to go be a part of that, so big things happening today and uh, hopefully I'll be able to show you part of the process. I don't know, I'll have to ask her and see how she feels about it. But um, it's a fun, super girly day so far, yeah. So pretty. Apparently she loves this one. Do you like it with that uh, belt to Rooney? The back of it's pretty. The back is about right, Are you not sold, mom? I don't know. It's just hard. It's hard to decide. Here's some she picked up. No, <gasps> look at your shoes, ma'am, and your and your tights. What's happening here? No, yeah, I think you made some really. Pretty I think I think this is your presentation dress. That one's boring. It's got that same thing at the top. That one's like a prom dress. Get it away. She's even got flowers in her hair. Next. This one I love. This is our favy. Total fave. Okay, here's our next one. It's a, she's going for more of like the like, kind of sheer on top. Kind of like, it's strapless but not strapless. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm sure there's a technical word for this, but I don't know it. How do you feel? Pretty. <laughs> so pretty. Ooh, that sash is sparkly. I really like the back of the sash. Can you see it? I like how it's tied like that. I mean, it would probably be straighter, but I like how it's kind of like... the worst bow ever. No, no, no. But it's, I mean, it would be more perfected, but I like how it's kind of... Super sparkly in the front and the back, it's like just a bow, you know. Yeah, that's, that's, that's probably the worst bow ever. <laughs> I liked it, okay? Well, thank you. <laughs> I love this dress. 
It is different. Mom isn't giving us enough of a, a hard decision. We need a hard decision. She's like, I like that bow. Which is nice. It's diplomatic. This one is so pretty. And I like that smile. That's yes. Smile. <laughs> That's the biggest smile we've seen all day. Because she loves this veil. It's her favorite. Oh, good. They're fluffing it up. It's like the biggest veil ever. Woo! This one's much more simple. I don't think she likes it. Not even a little no bit. Going on no, no, no smile for this one. Hey guys, so I'm home and it's actually already like 8. 15 8 30 it feels later because I came home and I was exhausted and I took a nap after I was shopping with my sister and my mom We went out to eat at Liberty Kitchen and I was just oh, I was just so tired for some reason I kind of had a headache so I came back Worked on my new video that I'm gonna put out tomorrow and then I just like passed out and took a nap with Luna Um, I do need to tell you what's happening with Luna in the middle of last week a little spot along her space guard, which this is something I've talked about before because since I got her, it's happened uh, two other times. There's a spot along her space guard that gets really irritated and it's like raised and really red and it looks kind of infected. And she's it's actually not infected, but she has taken antibiotics for it in the past and it has gone away. But um, this last time it came up and it looks really bad. And so I had to go to the vet and well, it was kind of like an emergency. I was like, uh, I'm going to the vet immediately. And she said that she needs to have surgery. And so she's having surgery on Monday morning and it's just really scary. Um, so she's had her cone on uh, whenever I can't like literally like hold her because she like knows it's there. There's, I don't know if I explained that properly. I put this all on Snapchat and, and like on Instagram filling you guys in but in case you don't know about those things, she just messes with it because I, it bothers her. There's a stitch there that didn't dissolve or something and um, they have to go in and they have to take that out and kind of just reseal it up because something went wrong, I don't know. So that's happening on Monday. Pretty nervous about that, pretty scared. Um, but I, they say it's like a really, normal procedure and it shouldn't be like a long recovery or anything like that so that's good but it's been kind of hard to like wait and watch her because like she hasn't been eating as much like look she left food she never leaves food she left food um earlier this morning and i kind of just left it there and she finished that and then i put more in and then she left some more so it's weird i know she's not feeling well um other than that she's not i mean dogs they can't tell you it's so hard it's like you just want to ask them like how does it feel are you okay what what do you need me to do and i feel bad like telling her no whenever she's licking it because i know it's just she's like this thing i don't know what it is and i want to fix it but she can't and right now it's like, it kind of looks like an open wound. I would show you, but I'm like worried that, I don't know, that would bother you. Would that, oh, it would probably bother you. Um, and it doesn't even matter. We're getting it fixed. It's going to be okay, but it is stressful and it's sad and it's scary because it's just, you know, surgery is pretty major, even if it's like a minor procedure. So nervous about it, but I think it's gonna be okay. You guys have been so supportive, like on Snapchat and Instagram, because I've been you know, talking to you guys along the way, telling you what's going on and everything, and a lot of people have been through the same thing, so it's not completely rare and scary. Uh, so that was really helpful to hear from you guys about your experience. I really, really appreciate that. Everyone on Snapchat especially, because it's like, I put out you know, how I'm feeling or what's going on, and you like immediately, it's like, I don't know. It's great. It's like Twitter, but even better. I don't know. I just really appreciate you guys on Snapchat, especially. I mean, everywhere. Here. No matter what. I mean, I know social media is not for everybody, so it's like, I appreciate you guys. It's, especially when it's a situation like that, because, you know, any one person's network is only so big, and not everybody's been through the same thing, but when I can just extend a thought or a question out to you guys, there are like inevitably other people that know the answer. They're smarter than me in the subject or they've been through it. They have experience that I don't have or something like that. And it's just, it is very valuable. And I really, really appreciate it because it's awesome. Um, anyway, 
enough of that. I am gonna put out my new video tomorrow instead of tonight. I don't know why I'm just like Saturday night for videos. No, because I don't know, I feel like everyone's like doing fun stuff. But I am about to wash my hair because it is insanity right now. It is so gross and it is fading out and I am actually kind of trying to make it fade out. That's another story. Um, I love it, don't get me wrong, but but I have other plans. So that's something, but I need to wash it and then I'm going to the movies and I'm gonna go see Hail Caesar. Luna. How do you feel? Are you okay? Also, I've been watching this show on Netflix for the past, I don't know, hour or so. It's called High Profits, I think. It's so weird because it's like, it feels like a reality show slash documentary, but at the same time, there are some parts that feel really, really fake. I'm not sure if it's fake, and I've been meaning to look at like the, P.S. my house is so messy right now. Don't look at it. I love when people do that. They're like, don't look at my hair, my hair is disgusting, and it's like a selfie. I think that's really funny. Yeah, it says TV shows, TV documentaries. I don't know why, but some parts of it, it just feels a little bit scripted, and like, I don't know. But it's interesting. Interesting is good. Going to the movies and it's really cold outside. My hair like faded out a lot in the shower. It's really weird right now. You can't see it right now, but I will show you. Wow, so this morning my contact was really, really bothering me. I was trying to get my video done and really sucked because I couldn't see out of my right eye and it's because there was two contacts in my eye. How does my life work like this? Actually, it's not working. <laughs> Help me, Luna. Luna and I are playing our little catch the food game because she's been having trouble eating and it's Sunday afternoon and she only has so long that she can keep eating before she has to stop because she's having surgery in the morning. And uh, so I don't want her to be like dying of hunger, but she won't like eat her food out of the bowl. And this is what we used to do in case you didn't watch my vlogs back then. Uh, when she was really little and she was nervous about eating. And just like toss her food out and it's like it makes it more exciting. She gets to catch it. So this is how I bribe her to eat by making it a game. I'm so sad. Like it makes me so sad to see her like sick or feeling so bad that she can't even eat. Look at her. Here it comes. Get that food. Just a little ruthless animal. But um, yeah, I'm kind of bummed out about this, but I think she's gonna be okay. Look, there's some more over there. I'm just happy she's eating. Okay, so I just got all ready because I'm going to a housewarming party and um, I feel like garbage right now. Whoa. Okay, crisis averted. So I'm all ready to go to the house wearing party, but I wanted to show you what I got her. Uh, she loves Kate Spade, and so I got her this coffee table book, and it is so cute. And actually, to be honest, I haven't even looked through it. I just knew like she would like it. Um, <laughs> I think it's cute, right? I think she's gonna love it, so I'm excited to give it to her. I do have to leave Luna alone for a little while, which is sad, but I think she's gonna be okay. Um, she's very used to having her naps, so I don't think it will be so bad. She has kisses on her forehead right now and she's having to wear her cone because she can't stay away from her spot. I'm really trying not to worry about it too much because I know that's not gonna help anything. Um, it's just hard and annoying and sad and all of those negative things. But one good thing I did, uh, which was hard because it's like, <sighs> Oh, I didn't even tell you. I skipped over that TMI detail. I started my period today. So I am like in grotesque pain right now. And it is very hard for me to even like summon the strength to go to this thing. It's also Super Bowl Sunday. I don't think I can participate in any of that nonsense. Um, so I'm actually probably gonna be ending the weekend vlog right now. Actually, I am going to show you my outfit. Um, I don't know why, I just am. I guess because I haven't worn this sweater in a thousand years, but because I did that whole like closet clean out thing, I rediscovered it and it's pretty cute. It's a really light sweater. It's not very cold out today. And it's got this gigantic cowl situation. 
check out how my hair is fading. It's so weird. Um, and I'm just wearing black jeans and my little maroony boots. Like I said, I think I'm gonna end this weekend vlog right here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna vlog um, the surgery situation tomorrow. I almost feel like it might make me feel better to vlog about it, um, just like talk through it, and then I won't have to be like recapping the next week. I don't know, I haven't decided yet, but this weekend vlog is over. I hope you guys had an awesome week, awesome weekend, all of that. Subscribe if you wanna keep up with my future weekend vlogs. I hope you do. Give it a thumbs up if you like weekend vlogs, and yeah, thanks, I love you, bye. <laughs> I've never showed you my closet, and there are reasons why. It is awful, but I think this, this this powerful before and after will be a testament yes. to your genius. So <laughs> let's look at what we're dealing with. All right, take it all in. Y'all are gonna be so horrified by me, but 